great turnout. Not bad. And let's give it up for Mr. Matthew Payton. This guy knows how to throw a party, doesn't he? My grandfather started the festival as a gift to this community. Matthew, you're tapped out. The doors to Peyton Automotive closed. You put half these people out of work. Does it taste like poverty? Does anybody need any help? Are you okay? Who oh, are you two? My name is Sharon, my son Clarence. He found you. You can call me CJ. We've been praying for you, and we don't even know your name. I'm Matthew Peyton. Like the Christmas pageant, Peyton? This year, I'm gonna be the big guy. Gabriel, okay. I don't think the pageant is possible anymore. All things are possible to those who believe. So what was the audition process like? Because obviously it was probably a big deal when you all got the call that you you booked the job. We did, yeah. I, I was cast early on, um, the first person that was cast in the film. Billy and I had worked together on a series of television commercials the year before we shot the movie. So he sent me three different scripts to take a look at, and of the three, this is the one that, that resonated most with me as an actor and as a person, and, and I really felt like this was a, a solid movie and was timely. All the themes that are in the film, I felt like really needed to, to be uh, heard, you know, right now. So uh, I agreed to do the film straight away, and then needless to say, we had to, we had to go on a nationwide search for the kid. I mean, the CJ character had to, be, had to be perfect. So... Full disclosure, we saw a couple hundred kids, you know, for this role. And uh, when Isaac came into the room, you can plainly see he's a he's a boundless ball he of energy. He makes me feel all special. Among other things. But he, um, he uh, asked questions. He was one of the only actors that came into the room that asked questions uh, of the director and the producers about the script. And he had read the script. And uh, as a, you know, as a, as a veteran, ripe old actor at the age of 10 years old, he had done his homework and had been on a, a barrage of TV series and had done some films. And so he knew exactly the right questions to ask. He knew all about um, the role. He asked us questions and we were just praying that he was as great of an actor as he was a personality. And sure enough, he he brought it in every sense of the word. And he was the only actor that I actually read with to do our screen test uh, in the room. So when he, we did about three or four scenes together. And then when he left the audition room, I said to the other producers, do not let him get to the car before we call his agents. This is the kid. So kudos to Isaac. I will actually, um, kudos to you too, Ryan. And uh, thank you. And I, I will actually speak of my experience after I got the call. Ryan, you don't mind if I shake your phone a little bit, do you? No, please shake away. You're holding it. Okay, so, a tripod here. so I'm, I'm in the library, right? clicking away at my fifth grade test, thinking it's the hardest thing in the world. And my mom says, oh my God, oh no, 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 no. And she's like, are you serious? And I'm like, what, mama? She's like, you wouldn't believe it. I go, yeah. In the, now That's remember, what I'm, I'm in the library at the time. And so uh, when I got on set, it was just so much fun. And, and when I was in the audition room, but what, you know what, a few hours before I was in the audition room, I said, I'm gonna take a real look at the script. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna reread it. And I, as I was rereading the script, I was just like, man, this, this script is awesome. And so when I went to the room, I was just like, is this like a script about God? And I got really, really excited because like I told Ryan, you don't come across a lot of scripts like these. So when you do and you're spiritual, like I, you know, my mom has me. And, and, and my girl, Brittany, how, how she is, you know, um, when you find a script like that, you really get excited and you really get happy and you really hope that you book it. And lo and behold, bam. I'll tell you this, Brittany, a great little anecdote. When he came into the room, he said, one of the questions he asked of us, he said, you know, when these scripts come across my desk, which, by the way, is funny for it to hear from a 10-year-old. He said, when these scripts come across my desk, he said, my mom usually gets the script first and she goes through and, and sharpies out the bad words that I'm not supposed to read and sharpies out the situations that I'm not supposed to read, you know, as a little boy. And he said, as I read this script, I noticed that there were, there were no sharpie marks in here. Is this a movie about God? And we said, as a matter of fact, it is. And he said, I've been praying for this for my whole life. So, <laughs> That's a blessing. Well, I think that you guys did a great job of the movie. And your chemistry is obvious, both on and off screen. And I like what you said about, unfortunately, in, in how Hollywood is today, they have movies written for little kids. I mean, even younger than you, you know, six feet five, six years old, saying these words that right. honestly me as an adult would never say in my life. I believe that you can get your message across without having to use a curse word. That, that's just what I think. Exactly. You can still get angry and upset without having to go on this bleeping rant. 
in the in the script, Ryan as a full grown man, like he he really relates this very well. Like there's some of those moments where he like where he's like at the edge of his like, and he's just like, oh my god. And you know, and he's and he's at that edge, but he never ever says a bad word, never. And it's like I really like those movies where you can convey your anger through tears and through really emotional acting more so than just saying, "God, I wish I had a."